That's the Coyon here from Coyon and Math. So today we're going to be looking at the laws of indices. If we take a to the power of x and times it by a to the power of y, and our ones are basically the same, then you can just add the powers a to the power of x plus y. Let's see that in an example. a cubed times a squared, so that would be a to the power of 3 plus 2, which is a to the power of 5. Second example says 3b to the power of 5 times 4b to the power of negative 2. Don't be tempted to add the 3 and 4 here. They are not indices. They just get times together as normal. So 3 times 4 makes 12. And we've got b to the power of, well, 5 and minus 2. So that equals 12b to the power of 3. 12b cubed. Okay, so if we take a to the power of x and divide by a to the power of y, so a is the same number, then we can just take away the powers. Remember, this only works if the base is the same. So the same number on the bottom or top for your indices or the same letter. So let's look at a simple example, 6a7 over 2a5, where I can do 6 divided by 2 first to get 3, and then we've got a to the power of 7 minus 5. So that is 3a squared, nice and simple. Next law of indices in the National 5 2022 exam, a to the power of x to the power of y. So that is just a to the power of x times y. You can just times the indices together as long as that base is the same, that a. So let's take the example of a to the power a cubed to the power of 4. That is the same as doing a to the power of 3 times 4, which is a to the power of 12. Negative powers, a to the power of minus x is the same as 1 over a to the power of x. Let's look at that as an example. Let's say we had 2 a to the power of minus 3 and we want to change it to a positive power. Then our 2 can stay where it is, but it's over a cubed. Negative 3 is turned into positive 3 underneath the fraction. One last thing you should be aware of is that also a to the power of 0, anything to the power of 0 equals 1. That is a key thing to be aware of if you ever need it. Okay, simple past paper question here. This is from 2014, paper 2, question 8. So it's a calculator question, even though you probably don't need it. So you've got simplify n to the power of 5 times 10n over 2n squared. So that is the same as n to the power of 5 times 10n, well, that's a power of 1, over 2n squared. So let's just deal with the top and bottom separately. So doing the top, we've got 10 n. 6. Add the powers over 2n squared. 10 divided by 2 is 5n. And I can take away the powers now. 6 minus 2 is 4. Okay, this question comes from 2018, paper 2, question 15, quite late in the paper, a little bit harder. It says 2 thirds p4 all squared. Now we need to be aware that we'll have to square the whole number part first. Any numbers in front get squared as normal. The laws of indices only apply to the thing with indices in it. So we've got two thirds p4 all squared. So I need to square my fraction. So two twos is four over three threes is nine p. And we times the powers. Four times two makes eight. And we're done there. 2016 paper 2 question 10. Simplify n squared cubed times 10 to the min n to the minus 10. Give your answer as a positive power. So let's start with the n squared cubed. That gives me 2 times 3 is 6 times n to the minus 10. Times in indices, which means we can add the powers. So that gives me n 6 take away 10 is negative 4. Leave your answer as a positive power. The last little thing then, 1 over n to the 4. And we're done. This has been Claire Maths. Today we'll be looking at the laws of indices in the 2022 National 5 Maths exam. Take care, stay safe and goodbye.